opportunity to share some of the ways we implement the SAA program at our school. My name is Kayla Reinhardt, I'm a senior. I'm Brady Richter, I'm also a senior. My name is Cole Deloy, I'm a senior. I'm Danielle Marks, and I'm a senior. At our school, we engage the community in the SAA program and make aware of the Jefferson Awards program by celebrating the community service of our students. This year, we nearly completed 50,000 hours of community service. We also use UGIVE to record and promote different service opportunities that are going on in the school. Also, many organizations are able to use UGIVE to make aware their members all the different opportunities that there are. And all Stevenson students have accounts to UGIVE. So in order to best implement the SDA program at our school, we try to create an effective leadership team. Every single member of our team was selected because they represent one of the major service organizations at our school. We have all completed not only the fall training programs with SIA, but also the in-school student leadership academy. Also, we recently presented at the UGIV National Service Summit to share and also learn some best practices in implementing the SIA uh, program. Our team functions on the belief of differentiating between service and volunteerism. We define volunteerism as simply showing up, doing work, and basically leaving non, uh, untransformed. Uh, in, it, in contrast, service is what we like to promote through all of our events. Service is goal-oriented, need-based, and transformational. One of the most important aspects of our Jefferson Awards program at Stevenson is the way that we recognize our Jefferson Award recipients. We hold monthly uh, ceremonies before school. We invite the students who won the awards, parents, uh, teachers, the principal, as well as several other important members of the administration in order to honor them. Here is a picture from one of said meetings. This is the list of current, current student, award, student leaders uh, in the Jefferson Award program. Uh, as you can see, we are all the head of uh, several organizations around school. This ensures the best connection between us and the school community. We are currently transitioning in younger members to represent all ages in the Stevenson community. One of the ways we train strong and effective leaders at Stevenson is through the Student Leadership Academy. The Student Leadership Academy is run by the Student Activities Department and meets weekly on Tuesdays and occasionally on Thursdays. At the Student Leadership Academy, students get hands-on experience with experiences and with good leadership. At the end of the Student Leadership Academy, students must pass a final exam in order to show that they have learned and demonstrated good leadership. This is our Student Activities Department where we proudly display our Gold Regional Award, or Jefferson Award. At the Student Activities Department, students can learn about all the different clubs here. The 300 Club is one of our most important clubs, which recognizes students that have completed 300 community service hours by the time that they graduate. Here shows all of our monthly award winners for the Jefferson Award. Here are listed some of the names and organizations that have been awarded with this prize. So it's basically impossible to list all the service opportunities that go on at Stevenson in a given year. These next few slides document just a few of the organizations and uh, their works in the community. What we hope you get out of this is that student communities organize these clubs to ensure that every single student at Stevenson can be involved in service in one way or another. For example, Teen Aiders is a not-for-profit organization that organizes volunteers with homeless kids in Lake County. Internet Club is a branch of the Rotary Club, and it does various service projects, such as Habitat for Humanity, Adopt a Highway, and Football Game Barbecues. Peer Helpers ensures that every single student at our school is aware of their social and emotional needs. And Students Helping Soldiers works with not only the service members abroad, but also the veterans in our community. Best Buddies pairs students at our school with children with developmental disabilities, and Key Club does various service projects, such as tutoring through the Omni Youth Services. This year, Student Council organized an event called March Madness. Um, it's where students were, or teachers were paired up um, in a tournament-like style, and it was in order to benefit a charity. This year, we raised $3,500 to benefit um, the American Red Cross's relief efforts in Japan. At Stevenson, we're constantly trying to expand our financial capacity for all of our volunteer efforts. As you can see, over the past year alone, we've raised about a quarter million dollars the biggest event uh, was Giveathon, in which we raised seventy thousand dollars, mostly benefiting the local Vernon Township Pantry. 
one of the ways that we innovate financially and expand our financial capacity is with Spirit Fest. Each year, the National Honor Society sponsors a 501c3 tax exempt organization that will receive the benefits of Spirit Fest. At the event, we're always expanding and being creative with new events like Battle of the Bands and our expanded silent auction. This past year, we raised $22,500 to benefit the Saving Tiny Heart Society. By telling stories in the community, we can keep in touch with our local followers. For instance, last year when our Jefferson Awards team went to the National Jefferson Awards Ceremony in Washington, D.C., we had a local newspaper write an article detailing our experiences. Uh, by keeping in touch with the school, uh, we do several things, such as make morning video announcements, one of which you'll see at the end of this presentation. We have a website, and we communicate over social networking websites like Facebook. Uh, the way we keep in touch with our community is we talk to our local newspapers who will write articles uh, that will um, advertise our causes. Uh, just last year, we had our Project Dance fundraiser members featured on Fox News. Pretty cool. So as Beattie mentioned, we are constantly working with our local media outlets to advertise the FDA program and its involvement in Stevenson. This is just one such article that was written about our trip to D.C. for the National Jefferson Awards ceremony this summer. At Stevenson, a few ways that we grow and expand the FIA program is through monthly site visits where Mr. Erdman will discuss the Jefferson Award program and you give, and also we um, share ideas with different schools in the area um, and we're currently recruiting. We also have constant communication with SIA leaders at Friend and um, Loyola Academy. Um, we also are collaborating annually with Buffalo Girls High School um, at Relay for Life and that's one example of sharing practices that we've learned through the Students in Action program. So every year, Stevenson tries to expand its uh, community outreach by innovating all of its uh, large fundraisers. For example, Give It Down this year was expanded from sponsoring 212 families last year to over 280. In addition, we have implemented a new method for uh, soliciting community donations by using an uh, internet portal available through all of our large fundraisers. In addition, uh, we have met with the District 125 Board of Education and ha held a 90-minute dialogue to talk about not only what we're currently doing in service at our school, but our plans for the future with the FAA program. A Google Doc nomination form, a screenshot of which is shown here, uh, is also available on our school website that is available for community members and teachers and students alike to nominate outstanding service uh, members in our community. This is also an example of the Content Content All-Star Award, which shows our innovative methods of advertising service in our school. One of the best examples of innovation in Stevenson is through our give -a -thon. Annually, the National Honor Society hosts give -a -thon. It has three main components. Classrooms can select individual families in the community to buy holiday gifts for. In addition, we also collect a large amount of donations for the local food pantry and baby items for young mothers through the PADS organization. give -a is also innovative through its use of committees. Um, and uh, volunteers are able to um, sign up for these opportunities through UGIF. To conclude our presentation, we'd like to finish with a, a short morning video announcement that we made to advertise our cause this year. The boys are back in town. And when I say boys, I mean Jefferson Awards student leaders come to recognize students who have performed outstanding acts of service. You know anyone who has done a great act of community service, contact one of these kids or follow the link on the student activities website in order to recognize them. Oh, the Jefferson Award student leaders. I love those guys. And with a namesake like Thomas Jefferson, how could any student leaders ever go wrong? Yeah. Jefferson saw the future of this country as an agrarian republic, a conglomeration of independent farmers, free from the influence of corruption of urban settings. 
and this view contrasted sharply with Alexander Hamilton's plan for the country, an industrial empire and a strong central government. Hamilton's view prevailed. Why don't we have the Hamilton Awards? You crack on wise, boy? Jazz. Yes.